A lot of engineering goes behind how data is stored, read and written on a storage drive on your computer. It involves a lot of steps and processes that all need to go right to make sure that your data is safe and accessible. One such concept behind data storage are drive sectors. Hello everyone, my name's Mike and here at Sabrent we love to make and talk tech. So if that's what you're into, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. A sector is a specifically designated division of a hard drive, optical drive, floppy disk, flash drive or any other kind of storage to be honest. While functionally it works very differently on each of these mediums of storage, the concept is the same. A sector drive is the smallest allocated space on a storage device. The standard size for a drive sector used to be 512 bytes, meaning each sector could hold 512 bytes of information. But that standard is pretty old as it was established back in the 1950s. Over the years, drive sector sizes have increased from 512 bytes to larger sizes like 1024 bytes and 2048 bytes. These increases were mostly in part due to the increase in storage space requirements. File sizes used to be much, much smaller back in the day. A typical file would not exceed a few kilobytes to be honest, but nowadays it is very common for a file to be megabytes of not gigabytes in size. So as our requirements for storage grew, so did the technology. Currently a drive sector of 4096 bytes is a common sight. Since 2011, 4K byte sector sizes has become the standard for modern drives. So it would be a pretty good guess if I said that the current hard drive in your PC has a 4K byte size. An individual sector is composed of three parts, the sector header, the error correcting code, and the actual space that stores the data. The sector header contains the information used by the drive and the controller. They are needed to identify which data is stored where. It also includes things like address identification, floor flag, error detection, and the correction information. An important thing to note is that the sector size doesn't mean that your drive has extra space. A 500 gigabyte hard disk with 512 bytes sector sizes and a 500 gigabyte hard disk with 4K bytes of sector sizes both have a storage capacity of 500 gigabytes. All it means is that with a larger sector size, the data stored isn't as spread out as on a drive with a smaller sector size. Having said that, the number of sector sizes on the hard disk is directly correlated to the storage capacity of the hard disk. The more number of sectors, the more storage space that hard disk has. SSDs have become very popular these days too. This is mostly because they are much faster at transfer speeds and they are much smaller compared to hard disk drives. SSDs also offer more reliability and durability since they use electronic circuits to store data instead of a spinning disk. An SSD uses something called NAND flash storage to save your data, and the data is saved on flash memory cells. Since SSDs work fundamentally very differently from hard disk drives, they don't have sectors as such. Instead, they have something called blocks. Since SSDs are made up of memory cells, these memory cells are organized into a grid, and this is what's called a block. Each block is the smallest division of the storage space inside an SSD, very similar to sectors in a hard disk drive. But since hard disk drives have been around for much longer, the terminology around storage devices is derived from hard disk drives. So while SSDs don't exactly have sector sizes, it is a very common term to see instead of using block to use sector sizes. If you've ever formatted a drive, you might have come across something called allocation unit size. This is essentially you telling the file system what sector size you want. Let's say you want to store a one megabyte file on your drive. A one megabyte file equates to one million bytes. Now, you can store this document on a disk that stores 512 bytes on a single sector, meaning a one megabyte file will occupy about 1,954 sectors. On the other hand, if you want to store that same one megabyte file on a disk with a sector size of 4,096 bytes, then it will take about 244 sectors to save that one megabyte file. The only difference between a device that has a sector size of 512 bytes and a device that has a sector size of 4096 bytes is that the device 
device with 512 bytes sector sizes, the data will be spread a lot more sectors. Thus, the data must be broken down into more pieces, while in a device with, let's say, 4096 bytes of sector sizes, the data will be spread across a smaller number of sectors. Spreading data around in more sectors will always be more vulnerable to errors and faults. Hard disk drives are prone to something called fragmentation. Fragmentation occurs on a hard disk when data isn't written closely enough physically on that actual disk. As data is spread around a hard disk far from each other, the hard disk has a hard time pulling all the pieces together. Taking the previous example of a one megabyte file being stored on a hard disk, on a 512 byte sector size device, that file will be spread around 1,954 sectors, thus making the file more fragmented than a file that would have been stored on a disk with 4,096 sector sizes. To put it in other words, if you set a larger allocation unit size on your hard drive, it generally translates to your computer storing your files more closely together. This means that there is less chance for file errors and fragmentation. While hard disk drives will keep working with a few bad sectors, one particularly frustrating sector to have issues with is a boot sector. When this sector has issues, it makes it almost impossible for the operating system to boot. Hard disks are very mechanical in the way that they function, hence why there are more points of failure in a hard disk. That doesn't mean that devices like SSDs, which instead use flash memory to store data, doesn't have bad sectors. In fact, SSDs can also have bad sectors. Over time with a lot of use, the memory cells in SSDs can wear out and cause them to fail. Failing memory cells is essentially a bad sector in an SSD. Once a sector on an SSD goes bad, the computer won't be able to access it. This means that your computer won't be able to store data in this sector. Physical damage to an SSD can also cause bad sectors similar to a hard drive. SSDs also have logical bad sectors. This is when there is a software issue causing the sector to go bad. Usually a bad sector of this kind can easily be fixed by software. In a nutshell, sector sizes on storage devices just determines how your data is stored. A larger sector size means that your data is more tightly packed and less prone to errors and fragmentation, but may cause your drive to actually be a little bit slower in certain tasks. Bear in mind, using larger sector sizes will cause smaller files to use that amount of space at a minimum. So if you store a lot of movies or high res photos, then it might make sense for you to go for a larger sector size. However, if you store a lot of small files, then it might be better for you to go for smaller sector sizes. As a general rule though, the default allocation size will work for most of you out there and should be left at default for most situations. However, I do hope that this video has helped you understand what a sector size is and does. And with that, we've come to the end of this video. If you did find this video interesting, then make sure to smash that like button and also hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can watch more content like this. Anyway, look after yourselves and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.